I'm assuming, okay, we are live right now, guys. So I'm assuming everybody has their notes out and you're ready to go. So we are moving now, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we are moving into a whole nother chapter in the book called Rational Expressions or Rational rational expressions and equations, right? Rational stuff, right? Rational, what does rational mean? Thank you so much. Let's start. Okay, good. Thank you. Right, rationals, ratios, ratios are fractions, right? Every fraction is a ratio. Rational expressions are ratios. In other words, they're problems or expressions or equations that have a fraction in it, that has an upstairs and a downstairs, a numerator and a denominator, right? And, um, and uh, one thing that we, you, ha you will have to know, I guarantee this kind of thing will be on every SAT test you take. Um, long division using, I mean using long division to solve these. Remember that concept that every fraction is a division problem? You guys all learned that with Matt, those of you who had Matt, and with me as well. Every fraction is a division problem. So the numerator divided by the denominator, right? So you can actually, um, uh, like one half, you divide two into one, and you get 0. 0.5 if well, you're going to use decimal, yeah, like right? So let's good. talk about long division just for a second. Let's just see. Let's just remember how long division works. I'm going to go over here. So let's say I wanted to do. Um, uh, we'll do something simple first. Two into uh, 468. All right, that's nice and easy. Okay, so, so 2 goes into 4 how many times? 2. Twice. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put a 2 here. 2 times 2 is 4. You guys, you, how many people know this? Does everybody know this? I don't. Okay. Do you use a different method? I don't know. I've never used long division. Ever. Ever. Oh, well, you're going to have a, you're going to have a rough time with this. Um, <laughs> all right, so so two, what you're asking is, does two go into four? Yes. Yes, how many times? Twice. So right above the four, you put a two. Two times two is? Four. So you write a four down here. Two times two is four, and you put a minus sign, and you draw a line. And you're subtracting this four from that four. You get a zero, right? Bring down this next term, which is a six. Now you start over. You say, does 2 go into 6? Yes. How many has. times? Three, three times. So you put a 3 up here, right? And then you go, so does that make sense? 2 goes into 6 three times. 3 times 2 is 6. So you write your 6 down here under that 6. You put a minus sign and you draw a line. Okay? 6 minus 6 is 0. Great. Bring down the 8 now, the next term from the original. That's now an 8. And you ask yourself, does 2 go into 8? Yes. 4 times. So we're going to say 4, 4, and then you're going to write 4 times 2 is 8. And then you're going to subtract, draw your line, you have 0. So you have remainder 0, meaning 2 evenly goes into 200, I mean 468, and it goes in 234 times. Right? Yep. Now, if we did something a little harder, something like 5 into 468. I'm just curious if you want us to do remainders or decimals. Um, uh, Say remainders. Remainders. Yay. Remainders. Remainders are so much easier. No, they're not. At this point, decimals. Well, no, remainders. <laughs> trust me, you, remainders are the way you do it with polynomials. Okay? So, trust me. So, um, so but you'll see that in a second. So, Five, does five go into four? No. No, it doesn't go into four. So I can't put anything over the four. Five, does, so I have to ask myself, does five go into 46? Yes. How many times? Eight. Nine times. Nine times five is 45, right? So I put a nine over the six. Nine times five is 45. And then I'm going to put a minus sign, draw my line, and I have a one here, and then five does not go into one. So I know I did everything right so far. I'm going to bring down this 8. So I, how many times does 5 go into 18? Three. Three. Three times. Three times 5 is 15. 
put a minus sign, draw my line, and I have a three. Does five go into three? No. No. All right. So I have a remainder. Actually, it's not going to be. I'm not going to call it. A, I'm not going to call it. I have a remainder of three, but I'm going to put it. Write it as a fraction. So it's ninety-three and three fifths. I put this in the numerator, right? Right there. And I put this in the denominator, right there. So the answer is ninety-three and three fifths. Yes? Yeah, well that's what I do too. But this look, we're talking about dividing polynomials. I'm right, I'm showing you the method that you're gonna have to use to divide polynomials. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we are gonna do this. We've got x plus nine divided into x cubed plus 10x squared plus, make sure this is in your notes. Every single thing on this board goes in your notes. Because I guarantee you, you won't know what to do if you don't. Okay? What? Scary. Oh, this is amazing. Alright. It's it's really quite fun. Um, once you get the hang of it. Once you get the hang of it. So, guys, calm down. All right. The only thing, I know this looks like a nightmare. X plus 9 into this? Oh my God. Don't worry about the 9. The only thing you're asking yourself is how many times does X go into X cubed? Okay, X times what is X cubed? X times X squared. X squared. X squared, right? Does that make sense? X times what is X cubed? X times X squared. Or another way to say it is X cubed divided by X is X squared. So I'm going to put my X squared over the X squared. I'm not going to put it over the X cubed. Since I'm dealing with X squared, I'm going to put it over here. And it's only one, one X squared. So I'm going to put X squared like that. Now do you see, does, why what? What's the question? Why are you putting it there? Um, because then what, I'll know when I'm done. If I put it here, I'm going to be done here. I would rather put it here and be done here because then it's obvious that I'm done. Do you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it gets confusing. I'm giving you some, I'm starting some. So you skip the first term? You're skipping the first term. So I'm just matching up, lining up the x squares. Then do you skip it every time? The like term. No, no, no. Just the first time. Just the first one. Just the first one. Okay? So I'm putting it here. Now it's pretty easy. You don't have to worry about putting anything anywhere because it's going to just go right, right in, in order now. Okay? So, but I have to, just like I did here, I have to multiply my 2 times my 2 to get my 4. So I've got to multiply x squared times x, and I put it here, x cubed, right? With me? Yeah. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 9 is positive 9x squared. You with me? So far? Yeah. Right? That would be 9x squared. There. Okay. Now, this is the trick. you got to make sure you listen very carefully. I am subtracting this line from this line. So technically, either I have to do this, put it in parentheses, and put a minus sign, and then remember that's minus now. Or another way to do it is just to, instead of put it in parentheses, go ahead and change the signs right away. This is negative, and that's negative. You see what I'm saying? Because you're subtracting x cubed and you're subtracting 9x squared. So when I subtract this, look, those cross out. The x cubed minus x cubed crosses out. Yeah. Right? 10x squared minus 9x squared is just x squared. You with me? So it's not just x squared left. So I've got an x squared left. Okay. Now, just like I did here, once I got once I get this, I bring down my next term. So that's 3x. So I'm going to bring down positive 3x. Okay? Now, all I'm asking is x squared, x times what is x squared? Wait, can you move your head? Um, x. Five minutes. Move like, your head. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Move your head. X. X, times, <laughs> okay. x times x is x squared. And it's positive x, right? So it's plus 
X. But, so you're putting. What's somebody said? But. What? I'm so. Confused. I don't understand what you're so doing I, here. What? I don't understand what an answer you're doing. I know. I'm, oh, just I'm dividing. No. <laughs> <laughs> but Gary, so how did you get X? But wait, but where did you get? Where did I lose you? Like just now, like how did you get the X up there? Oh, okay, good. So you understand the, the beginning part, the x yes. squared. Okay, so all I'm now doing is I'm saying um, I am now trying to divide this into not, not this now, but this into this. So I'm saying how many times does x go into x squared? x times. x times, right? x times x would be x squared. So I'm putting that x there. So okay. you're taking the x times x from the beginning or from the I'm taking this x okay. and I'm dividing it into this x squared x. and it gives me an x. So I put it right there. And now I'm going to multiply this times this binomial, right? So x times x is x squared. I put it under the x squared. x times 9 is 9x. Okay. Everybody's with me so far, right? Well, how you can have a negative? How did you get the 9x? x times x is x squared, x times 9 is positive 9x, Okay, cool. right? I'm just multiplying this times this entire binomial, okay? Every time you got to do that. Now I'm going to subtract. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it this way this time. Subtract. That means I'm subtracting this and subtracting positive 9x. So x squared minus x squared is 0. 3x minus 9x is minus 6x. Okay. Now I'm going to bring down my my 36. Bring that down. So plus 36. Okay. And then you Very helpful, by the way, to do these little dots <laughs> to keep because because it because it some people are messier than others and it gets really confusing if you don't do those little dots. And then, Gary, are you going to take the 9x and multiply it by th by the by the bottom? So yeah. Now I'm asking myself, does the x go into negative 6x and how many times? Yeah, negative, negative 6, right? Negative six times. x times negative 6 would be negative 6x. Each time I'm trying to get match exactly that by what I put here. Does that make sense? So that when I multiply this times the x, this will cancel out every time. That way I'm always moving forward. So we just said x times negative 6x would be negative 6x. So negative 6, I put that right there. And now I'm going to multiply negative 6. That's not just 6. It's negative 6. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Negative 6 times 9 is negative 54. Now I have to I have to draw my line and I have to change all the signs basically. I'm going to subtract this line. Subtracting a negative becomes a positive. Subtracting a negative becomes a positive. So I just change them to positives. Right? So now those cross out. I have 36 plus 54, which is 80, 90, which is 90. Okay, <clears throat> I'm done. There are no more x's that I can divide this into. So this is my remainder. This goes in my numerator. And this is, my, what, is what goes in my denominator, because that's what I'm dividing by. So the answer is x squared plus x minus 6 plus 90 over x plus 9. Okay? Does it make sense? Yeah. You get it? Nope. So, okay, well, you, you know, you're going to have to just struggle along and try. But can I erase this? Because I have to show you one more thing. I've only got two minutes to show you. Um, actually, let me just see if I did this. Uh, on the, the homeworks, if mm. if I need to teach that to you today, maybe I don't. Just see you tomorrow. Okay, Squared x squared x squared x. I'm number ten. Okay, there is one problem. I'm, I'm going to set up number ten for you guys. So this is actually setting up your homework. Okay. Oh great. All right. So write this down because this is this is setting up number ten. It says uh, divide, um, um, basically it's this, 3x plus 9, divide that into 6x cubed 
but it says, this is what it says. Don't write this down here. Plus 21x plus 9. What's the problem? There is not an x squared. That is going to be a problem because we're going to slowly go down. You've got to have an x squared. So it's a zero. You add, you put in a zero x squared. You go plus zero x squared. What? Because oh, that, that zero x squared is a placeholder. Okay? <laughs> Otherwise, it will be impossible to do. Wait, and everything else just disappears? And then, no, and then, and then oh. you, you got to add the rest of it. Plus 21x plus 9. Now you're ready to do it. That's so key though. You've got to do that. If there is, if it goes x cubed and it switches, jumps right to x, you've got to add a 0 x squared. Okay? okay? But, but like how do you, why, why on the last one did you skip the, um, the first part of it? Wait, so he didn't write the first part of it. He just started writing the answer. How many times does 3 x I just started, I wrote, to, I wrote to you, I wrote down what, this is what the problem said. This says, it, it goes like this, 6x cubed plus 21x plus 9 divided by 3x plus 9, okay? So this goes here. This is going to go in here, but I notice I have an x cubed and no x squared. So I've got to squeeze in this 0x squared and then finish it off with this, right? So then so it's not so hard. 3x goes into 6x cubed how many times? 3 goes into 6 how many times? Um, 2. So I'm going to put a 2 right here. And then x squared. x goes into that x squared times. So I'm going to put an x squared Wait, here. Wait, how many times does it go into 0x squared? Don't worry about that. Let's just, it'll be, it'll be 0, right? Probably, right? So you're going to have a 3x. So, so this is going to be that. That's going to be 6x cubed plus... 2 times 9 is 18x squared, 18x squared. Now I'm going to subtract this. Subtract the whole thing. So subtract the 18 from that. Whoa. I have negative 18x squared Whoa. plus, I'm going to bring this down, plus 21x. You with me so far? Making sense? Takes a little getting used to, but once you get it, it's like a piece of cake. It's really not hard. So now I ask, 3 times what is negative 18? Negative 6. Negative 6. So I'm just going to put a negative 6 x. here. And then x times what is x squared? x. Notice, this should always be the same. That's sort of one of the reasons I do this. Is I can always see, oh, I've got my x squared here. I've got my x's here. I've got no x's here. So, so it just it's kind of your safety net. Wait, so what's your safety net? That this... Should, if this has an x okay. here, this should have an x. If this has an x squared, this should have an x squared, right? It's your safety net. That's another reason I put this over this, Okay. right? Okay, so now I've got to multiply this times this. So that's negative 18x squared, and then minus 6 times 9 is 54, right? Wait, where did you get the negative 18x squared? Negative 6x yeah. times 3x. Yeah. So, so Nathan, look. Negative 6 negative times six 3 is negative 18. Negative x times x is x squared. Because we just divided 18. I'm sorry, where? how did I get here? Oh, oh, I see. 3 goes into negative 18, negative 6 times. And basically, I'm trying to ask myself, what would I multiply 3x by to get negative 18x squared? I would have to multiply it by negative 6x. Okay, you with me? First, your first um, little group of numbers up top is always going to have x squared next. Well, that's if it starts with x cubed, then the first one will be x squared. Well, if it started with x to the 8th, it would be the first one would be x to the 7th. And then what so do you do? So it's going to be one last than the first one. Yeah. Right. Wait, finish it. Finish it, please. Right, please. So I'm so confused. Finish it, finish it. Finish it, finish it. So, so now I just draw my line and I'm going to subtract all this, which means they're all going to become positive, right? So those cross out. This is now 75x, right? And I say 3 times 3x times what is 75x? 25, right? So 3x times 25 is 75x, so plus 25. Right? Multiply that times this. I'll bring down the 9, by the way. 
plus 9. Wait, but what about your x in the first? Three, it's 3x. Three what? 75x, okay. Yeah, so that'll be 75x. And then 25 times 9, I don't know. 25 times 4, is that 225 maybe? Am I right, somebody? 225, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then subtract, right? And then subtract that, so that's going to be whatever, 225. Okay, negative 216. Uh, so that my answer is this plus negative 216 over 3x plus 9. And um, should we do the class? Like, should we actually do it? Say what? We can just copy it down. Copy it down. I want you to actually do it and okay. practice it. Because that's the one that's a little tricky. So here's the homework. We're gonna we're gonna keep it till tomorrow. That other one, okay? Did, did Nate did Nate make more copies? Oh, we did. Oh shoot, I didn't. I didn't.